Hello, beautiful bright stars. Welcome back to Genshin Impact. Just gonna pick up where we last, last left off in this event. And uh, I'll probably try and speed run this kind of part until we get to something kind of more fun and exciting and less repetitive. <laughs> How we do, how we do, we do good. <gasps> Kaya, long time no see, most reliable honorary knight. I heard that you've reinvented yourself once again. <laughs> this time as Jean and Lisa's business consultant. Can't say I'm surprised. I've been leading the cavalry company on a long distance training march over the past few days. Hmm. And just when we arrived back in the neighborhood, a pair of adventurers discovered a band of bandits we're taking advantage of the chaos caused by some monsters, so I ordered some delivery for the company. A little... <sighs> Calm down, Zhao. A little appetizer before memories. taking care of those troublemakers. Sheesh, Kaya, why? It's so long. What the? He sent me his whole life story. <laughs> uh, your shop. Okay. You're doing well, I see. Naturally, I was write this letter of thank, this letter of thanks, this uh, this payment. Okay, <laughs> gosh, Kaya. Oh, oh, Diana. Oh, Venti. Kaima? Looks like you're running a business. Hello, drunk bard. <laughs> oh, hey, Diana. <laughs> and tone deaf bard. What brings you to the shop? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Wow. Birds have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. Uh, how is that related to bards? <laughs> okay. Again with the nonsense! Don't listen to him! We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Okay. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Catsdale, so... She asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. The bard over here is performing at the event. Mm -hmm. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. Cute. Well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Of course, that's what. Yep, that makes sense. No wonder he's tagging along with Diona. <laughs> he's like, ooh, you're going to make me the best of alcoholic drinks. <laughs> well, that explains your enthusiasm, then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. Anyway, exactly. I was having some uh. trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. Mm hmm I know. The bar saw me <laughs> struggling and told me he had an idea. So we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. And that is? Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see. <laughs> It's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragonspine. Okay, what kind of bird feather? It was once buried in the snow and is still cold to the touch even now. Huh. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. <laughs> uh-huh. Because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that right? It sure is. Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> that still doesn't solve our problem, though. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? Absolutely none. How about a different approach? You could infuse drinks with different effects. Huh. Huh? Infuse drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? I guess. I don't know. Oh, Paimon gets what she's saying. Ahem. 
You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Monsta Alchemy scene right now. <laughs> Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in fact. <laughs> Strike a pose. I love it. <laughs> uh, but what do potions have to do with drinks? You mix ingredients together and get effects, you know? You can add them as an ingredient, of course. Potions can add all sorts of different effects. For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. Oof. Wow. That's strong. <laughs> I never knew potions could do something like that. Paimon's example is a bit of a stretch, but more reasonable effects are absolutely doable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm, mm, I see. How about... A potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again. Of course. Could you make something like that? I could try. Potions wear off over time. Oh, that's right. Even if we could make one that discourages people from drinking, it would only last for a little bit before wearing off. Mm -hmm. Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. Ah, <sighs> Diona, Diona, Diona. You should just kill Diluc then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love Diluc, of course. No, uh, obviously that's not going to happen. But, I mean, if she really wanted to do that. <laughs> it's okay. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? Because her dad's an absolute drunkard. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Uh, Ever been around a drunk person before? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. Depends on the person. Uh, yeah. The person I, at least I was around was actually very fun. <laughs> she was hilarious. <laughs> but it's always fun for me because I'm the designated driver always. I don't drink, so uh, I actually enjoy being around drunk people because they're so dumb. <laughs> Ah, I'm so sorry. your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, <laughs> but the fact that it makes people drunk. Hmm, this may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. Ooh, now that's an idea. So you mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh, sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? If we just need to produce something that invigorates the mind, that should be doable. Mm -hmm. Perfect! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become! Is that possible? <laughs> like, if they start sober, I don't think they'll get more sober from drinking. Will, will they? Is that possible? <laughs> they'll finally have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity! Here, here. Then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. I shall try. Gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. Yeah, same. Absolutely no idea. Oh, fudge. Inspiration. Injured. Okay. What else you gotta say, Venti? Alchemy has the power to transform matter. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? Oh gosh, of course. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if all the water in Cider Lake turned into actual cider? No, that would be awful for the environment. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, at least, no matter how short a mora I am, I'd never be short on liquor. <laughs> how about I treat you to a drink instead? No, don't be enabler. What the heck, traveler? A fine no alternative. <laughs> Who would I be to refuse such a generous invitation? Mm -hmm. We'll go as soon as your work is finished. How does that sound? Okay. I don't mind you hanging out really with you. You really haven't changed at all. Just the <laughs> mention of alcohol practically has you chomping at the bit. Yeah, it's too bad that's all you really talk about. Well, it's, it's really not sad. every day I get the chance to reunite with such dear friends. What's a reunion without a generous serving of wine? <sighs> you have a problem, my friend. the potion coming finished yet wisdom and steadying okay <laughs> eh, 
Should be fine. Wow. I can't believe I'm holding the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! <laughs> Wowza! <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away! Wish you all the best. Good luck, Diona. Wait, don't leave without me. I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, another problem solved. Looks like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. I have done absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh. If I'm able to develop something like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's gonna work, but uh, who knows? Nice. What were people wanting this time around? <laughs> Bad. That should be fine. This sucked. Ooh. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Oh! Traveler! Ah! <gasps> Sucrose! How's the potion making been going lately? Yeah, it's alright. Sucrose, you're Tedious. Back. It's been going great. We're still working out some kinks. True. I should have known. You really do have a talent for alchemy. I guess. Thank you. I'm sure this exam will also be a walk in the park for you. I'm already taking the next one. Well, ready to begin? Ah, sure. Okay. Concoct a potion with strength and dexterity both. Reaching grade intermediate or higher? Whoa. I got this. I got this. Is that intermediate? <laughs> I don't know. Heck yeah, baby. Hehe. <laughs> Got it. Let me see. Yep. Looks like your potion meets the requirements. Whew. You've passed once again. Yay! <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. Thank heaven. I'm so glad I asked for your help. Please. Take this for your trouble. Money? Ooh, thank you. Ooh, my first four star potion. Epic. There we go. Hmm, I haven't. Oh, I haven't even harvested. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Why the heck not? <laughs> hmm. Very nice. People still like my stuff. Okay. Great. Ah, <gasps> Candace. In my capacity as the guardian of Aru Village, and on behalf of the other guards, and all other who travel the desert, allow me to express my sincerest thanks. Not long ago, strange happenings were afoot here in the desert, with hordes of monsters roaming near Aru Village, harassing residents and travelers alike. <sighs> it was our great fortune that the potions you created were critical in helping the travelers avoid danger and reach our village. Aww. After the guards drank them as well, they became even more valiant in driving back the monsters. Soon I shall lead them in an offensive and restore Aru village tranquility. Should you have time, please come to our village for a spell. <laughs> I shall prepare- I have to stifle a smile every time Ayato. I remember the look on I my shall prepare our faces finest meats when and I inform for them you. of my plans today. Panic. Oh. Hello everyone. <gasps> Gosh, I've never been so excited to see him! <gasps> Whoa, is oh. that Master d -Luke? Hello, handsome man! Oh, d oh. <laughs> oh, What's someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? Hello, I appreciate you 
gracing us with your presence. It's really been a while. Fancy seeing you here, Master D. Luke. <laughs> Elzer told me the Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. Bless. Thank you, Elzer. <laughs> but seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. <laughs> the Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. Thank you. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> Manager of Don Winery, right? Mm hmm. Huh, Paimon thought he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Through the grapevine? Wait, are we that famous already? I'm sure. <laughs> no need to sound so surprised. <laughs> True. <laughs> the winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. Hmm. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. I know, even Candace, it's like freaking Sumeru, man, in the desert. <laughs> this is insane how, how big this has gotten. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to worry about that, dude. I will not trample into your territory. <laughs> We're, co <laughs> We're coming for your business next, buddy. <laughs> Let the trade war begin. <laughs> Ooh, you sure seem eager, cutie. Dude, I would love that <laughs> as like a fun little gag to like tease him with. Be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just want to see his reaction. <laughs> Looks like you really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Heck yeah! Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? Oh, of course. Mm-hmm. And it would just make either of us better all around. It would make him more of a, uh, of a success than he already is, you know? <laughs> hmm. A competition with the Traveler. <gasps> That's not a bad suggestion. Eh? Eh? See? I know you, D-Luke. You would enjoy it. You're extremely knowledgeable and well-traveled. If we were to become competitors, I'm <laughs> sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. <laughs> Probably even some I've never faced before. <laughs> Thank you for the compliments. <laughs> Dude, I freaking love D-Luke. What the frick? <laughs> but I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. I know. Our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space. I know. But like I said, I'm gonna jump into the wine industry now. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Oh? How so? Good for your business? Paimon's lost! You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? They can be. <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. Ah. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. And my potions help them do, do that. Because it makes them more work efficient and it gets the job done faster. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing. <laughs> They're getting drunk more. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh... Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. Mm -hmm. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. Yeah. Oh, mm. that makes Bummer. sense. <laughs> it's hard to be in the mood to go out and enjoy life if you're super busy all the time. Paimon never thought about it that way before. There sure are a lot of layers to running a business. Guess this means we're in the more making business together then. Hey, why don't you try out one of our potions? Please check out our offerings, dear partner. <laughs> <laughs> if you want something, just name it, and we'll make it. Hmm. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Mm-hmm. Well, since you offered, mm -hmm. please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. Nice. Okay. 
Reduce anxiety oh. while also improving the user's attention to detail? That almost sounds a little contradictory to me. Does it? I mean, no, it's kind of just improving their focus, but calming them down in the process. No, I don't think that's contradictory at all. I think that's uh, very nice. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D-Luke, <laughs> how exactly do you intend to use it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. Mm-hmm. True. After a period of high stress, like a busy workday, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. Oh, fudge. I hate that feeling. Sucks so bad. And then even sometimes, by the end of that day and it's finally nighttime, and you try and lay in bed and go to sleep, your mind will not shut off. Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> that level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy. Mm -hmm. Like relishing the flavor of their favorite <laughs> food and drink. <laughs> Tilu, come on. <laughs> I see, I see. You can say I that again. <laughs> definitely been there before. Sometimes after a really long day, Paimon will be so tired, but she just can't relax. Mm -hmm. Not even her favorite snack would hit the spot like they usually do. Oh, my poor little cuties. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Ooh, tea party. Once this is all over, With I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. My thank you. I'm curious with who? Is d -Luke invited to the tea party? I want him to be there. <laughs> doesn't invite him <laughs> walks away <laughs> so basically you need us to make a potion that decreases tension but increases attention so that people can enjoy the finer things in life no matter how busy or stressed they are hmm. i did Paimon get that right well thorough exactly wine is meant to be savored Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss, not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. But then that also makes me curious, doesn't the wine eventually do that to the person? Not, not the attention part, but the um, reducing anxiety? I mean, I wouldn't know. I've never tried, so. But I thought that's what it did. Hm. If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, <laughs> then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. Dang, okay. Excellently put, Master Dilik. I see the vision now. Oh yeah. That's, a, that's crazy. Well, it's definitely <laughs> a unique request. Huh, Seems indeed. Like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. We should get to thinking then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. Oh, oh, you handsome man. Here, wait. I'll pull out your better version. <laughs> Maybe not better version. We'll say updated version. Let's go. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh! What up? So good. So handsome. Oh! <laughs> Why does he look so good? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. This one's just for you, D Luke. Wait. I want to know the ingredients. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? Constitution and wisdom, focus and relaxing. Holy. I got this. I got this. Let's try it. Hopefully it's okay. Yo, what up? I might have something for you. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? 
I hope so. Ah, oh, it wasn't enough constitution. Did I do healing? I thought I did relaxing. Maybe I didn't do relaxing. Dang, I suck. Okay, well, this is the closest one. It should suffice. We're finished with the potion, Master D. Luke. Please give it a try. Oh, I thought you might need more time. But it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. Thank you. You hand over the potion to D. Luke. After looking it over, he takes a <sighs> small something. The effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Oh. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. He <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, fuck. Oh, and Ooh. don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. Ooh. Thanks, D. Luke. You're the best. <laughs> My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Oh. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. Dang, he's setting the mood and everything. What the fudge? This dude, he be classy. <laughs> so you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself. Interesting. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. Looks like our new product's a hit. We just secured a huge order from Dawn Winery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if our potion was enough to impress Master D. Luke... I'm sure regular customers are going to be even more amazed! Well, there's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. No... It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. Alright. In any case, it's been a pleasure working with you. Same! Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. Ugh! I hope those orders will keep on rolling in, for both our sakes. Yeah. Aw, this event was so worth it just for this. <laughs> oh, and if oh. you have some time, you should stop by Angel oh. Share to see your masterpiece in action. I shall. Are you going to be behind the counter? Hmm? For sure. Paimon can't wait. We'll see you next time, Master D. Luke. Bye, D. Luke. Thank you for stopping by. It was so lovely to see you. Bye, handsome, classy man. Bye-bye. <laughs> to help those who are exhausted to concentrate and to help those react with nerves to relax, your potions have extremely considerable potential indeed. Oh, 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 thanks, D. Look. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. All right, we're going to be D. Look for the rest of this time. <laughs> Lovely. Purple. Oh, fancy. Wow. Please, I want to be done. <laughs> Lisa, help me, please. I don't want to do it anymore. Blaze. Blaze. <laughs> I don't want to do another 10 <laughs> rounds of this. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> oh, just realized that's a five star. Yo. My strength potion. Oh, my Charisma Potion turned into a 5-star, too. Ah, <gasps> that's nice. Oh, hello, Ladis. You like what you see? <gasps> All the beautiful potions, eh? Yep, looks fantastic to me. <gasps> Best potions up front. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> Lady! Thanks so much for those amazing potions you and Paimon made. Lena and I have been rehearsing non-stop for a whole slew of new magic tricks lately, and we completely wore ourselves out to the point of not even being able to concentrate properly. Aww. Luckily, Fremenet brought us a kind of invigorating potion, and it cleared our minds right up. 
We said a merchant from Sumeru was reselling it from, from another supplier. I found the merchant, and after exchanging a few words, I learned that the investors, inventors of the potion, were none other than you and Paimon. Bravo. No less than I'd expect. Thanks to your help, Lynette and I successfully mastered a brand new program for the penultimate, penultimate act of our show. We'll send you an invitation to our next performance in advance, so be sure not to miss it. Heck yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, two days later. Okay. Over time, your business continues to grow and expand. Oh, a merchant is here. Uh, Paimon's not sure they're from Mondstadt, though. Let's go check it out. All right. Hello, traveling merchant. I'm not really sure how to say your name. Atafe. Hello there. The name's Atafe. Oh, I I'm got a traveling it. Traveling merchant from Sumeru. <laughs> nice. Great to meet you. Great to meet you as well. Whoa, you've made quite the journey. Guess news of our humble shop has already spread to all four corners of Tibet. It's all thanks to you, Paimon. All our hard work is paying off. Why? I'm always curious because there's always an option where we just praise Paimon. Like it's all thanks to you. Why? Why is that always an option? Huh. I'm, I might be overthinking it. Uh, but all our hard work is paying off. <laughs> I have to agree. <laughs> this venture of yours is becoming quite well known. In fact, many well-informed merchants have heard word of your potion selling endeavor. Sweet. But most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. Fair. If you ask me though, when the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. That's how you make the big Mora. Are we gonna get more people from Sumeru? Like, uh, Sino or something? <laughs> Although the general public still doesn't know much about alchemical Ooh, potions right now, pretty. with a little effort and marketing on your side, you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. Once that happens, the Mora will just keep on flowing. <laughs> Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. That's messed up. <laughs> with that kind of profit, you could even take the rest of the year off if you wanted. <laughs> Tenfold? Are you serious? <laughs> as long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. You could say it's a sort of mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. <laughs> With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain other more obsessed merchant. Uh, who? Wait, oh, you did say you were Dory? from Sumeru. Maybe you know her. Ever met Dory? Ah, I forgot about her. <laughs> Even though she was just in the last event. <laughs> Wait, you mean Lord Songama Bay? Mm -hmm. One of the most famous merchants in all of Sumeru? That Dory? Yeah. You know her? Yeah, she's a friend of mine. <laughs> Is she? We've met a couple of times. I don't know if she would actually call me a friend. So I'm going to play it safe. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lord Sangama Bay is one of my biggest idols. Her oh. business sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. Yeah, yeah, that is true. If, uh... Yeah, she has great drive. That's for sure. I was even lucky enough to visit the palace of Alcazarzare once. It truly is a magnificent sight. <laughs> one day... I hope to be just like her. Oh, Up please no. Up to my no. ears and more more than I can count. <laughs> That's always fascinated me because I have never have understood people's obsession with money. Like, I know it's needed and a necessity to live in the modern day, but I've never understood how people can obsess and love it so much. Like, it's it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm like, it's literally paper. It's something that humans put monetary value on and people love it? <laughs> Is that, I don't know, I don't know. I might be overthinking it or trying to logic it out, but it just doesn't make sense to me. I've never felt that way towards money. I actually, I don't wanna say I hate money, but I've actually never really enjoyed money. But that's just me. Uh, looks like we lost her. <laughs> Should Paimon snap her out of it, or...? We wish you all the best. Let's get back to business. Hey, back to business over here, eh?
<laughs> You're right. I seem to have strayed off topic. <laughs> no worries. Back to where we were then. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big Mora together. Sure. The idea is actually pretty simple. You produce the potions, provide me with a regular supply, and I'll help you sell them across to VAT. I thought I've already been doing that. If that sounds good to you, then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. All right, check potion requirements. According to my keen market sense, these are the kinds of potions that are currently in demand. Okay. Distribution strategy. Oh, a free sample delivery. Academia certi certification. Oh, I like that. Bulk purchase discount. Celebrity endorsement. 100 fold guarantee. What does that mean? Limited time batch. I like both of those. Can I actually get the academia to certify this? <laughs> After taking inventory of the potions, Atafe shoulders her bags and leaves. She will return. Lovely. <sighs> I'm not done. <laughs> no. No. Ta da Nothing but dexterity. <laughs> Whoa, that actually looks nice. Oh! Hi, you two. Hi, it's been a while, hasn't it? I guess, yeah. Oh, you're back! <laughs> Wait, that must mean there's a new exam! Uh oh. Yep. I'm not that good. It's time for the advanced exam. Oh. This one will be harder than previous exams. What? But I'm sure you'll do just fine. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, though. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. I know I'll do my best, but I'm, I I'm actually still nervous. I actually had Mr. Albedo take a look at your previous potions. Oh? He was a bit amazed that someone so new to potion making could already produce such an impressive result. Aw, thanks, Albedo. He even <laughs> told me that for someone of your talent, we could stand to set harder questions. Hey, hey now. Hey, now. Calm down here, okay? Calm down. <laughs> wow. Uh, the recognition feels nice and all, but my mom feels even more pressure now. Agreed. <laughs> if we don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing. Don't worry too much about that. Lots of things in life require a couple tries before you get it right. Normally, yeah, that's true. Still. When I first started working <laughs> as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. For example, when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, I accidentally froze all the equipment in the lab. <laughs> I basically turned them into ice sculptures. Oh, that's cute. Our precision instruments were nearly <laughs> ruined beyond repair. That sucks. Another time, I let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got chored to pieces. Wow. The smell was so bad. <laughs> several nights passing by thought the lab had caught fire. Mm. Damn. Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that <sighs> in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. Fact. Very true. A fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. Dang, Sucrose! Pop off, Queen! <laughs> you're absolutely right! Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people! <laughs> it's just my experience talking. <laughs> She's so I cute. spent a lot of time doing research in the lab, after all. Anyway, as long as you try, you'll learn something valuable from the experience. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh. Advanced or higher? Wisdom. Okay, okay. Advanced. Fragrant. Five different types of ingredients? Okay, five. So wisdom and fragrant. Okay. Oh, that is a pity. <laughs> Where'd that voice come from? <laughs> Such a, such a pity. <laughs> well, that should be good, eh? Yeah. 
Did I do good? I hope so. Ooh, that looks pretty. Pretty green. Yeah! 10 out of 10. Hopefully. Doesn't matter, I passed. <laughs> wow! You even breezed through the advanced exam. Yes! Oh, wasn't there like an expert? Oh no, I'm only on advanced. Ever thought Ugh. about helping out around the lab? No, <laughs> and I don't want to. <laughs> Drop everything and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Huh. Hmm. What do you say, traveler? Mm, not sure we're quite... Not sure we're quite ready for that yet. Hmm. But we can certainly help out. Why? Why with the voices? <laughs> but we can certainly help out. If we work together, I'm sure we can make something super amazing. Yeah. By super amazing, do you mean you already have something in mind? Mm? Well, oh? in the past, my research was mainly focused on the study of plants. Mm -hmm. But this experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I started thinking, what if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? Whoa, big thinker. A memory enhancing potion, for example, could help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge in a single breath. Ooh, a potion that'll just make everyone's uh, brains be a... Uh, everyone have a photographic memory. There it is. <laughs> Alternatively, a strength enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an abyss mage all on her own. <laughs> now that I'd love to see. <laughs> you could make potions like that sounds awesome i think i need a potion for um my brain it's just not working very well today <laughs> well it's certainly theoretically possible alchemy is in itself a way to explore the unknown it's a discipline with endless potential in fact current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy sorry i'm really digging the song in the background all of a sudden Theory, though, this conversation has gone on for practice. a while. And with alchemy, oh, the music's gone. there are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. Mm -hmm. uh, Paimon didn't quite catch all that. I'm listening. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> We can talk about the details some other time. All right. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. I shall. Sweet. Watch out, world! With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become the strongest guy in Tibet in no time! <laughs> well, I'll be off then. Only one more exam to go. No. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make. Yeah. Uh, speed run time? I think so. Ta-da. Just because I can. <laughs> Ooh. Dang, that looks nice. <gasps> Quick concoction? What's that? Oh, it's the recipe that I use. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. I like that. Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and who might you be, good sir? Greetings, I'm Deyu, a merchant from Liyue. Oh, are you here to purchase potions too? That's right, your store is doing pretty well, so I'm sure my sales will be good this time. Yeah, very sure. <laughs> you don't sound very confident. Hey now, our potions are selling super well. Orders just keep pouring in. We can barely cope. My apologies, I'm not doubting your sale figures. It's my business that hasn't been going too well. Every time I buy popular products, they just don't sell. Before prices go down all around, I put I post losses 9 out of 10 times. Dang, dude. I always convince myself it's just bad luck. But if I have nothing but bad luck, does that mean that I'm just not cut out for this? Mm -hmm. If I don't make any money this time, I'll pack up and head home and just work for my father. Hmm. Maybe you're just choosing the wrong products? Perhaps the issue is with your sales strategy? Hmm. Is that so? I suppose there's still 
it's still much for me to learn. Right. You're right. I can't stay down like this. I'll make money this time. And I'll impress my father. Make him see what I'm made of. <laughs> okay, down to business. Let's talk terms. Alright. These are the types of potions I plan to purchase this time. Oh yeah. I'll give you good ones. Why not? After checking and double checking the potion that the potions have been carefully wrapped and packaged properly, Dayu leaves with them probably. <gasps> oh! You're back. <gasps> oh! Goro! And oh, Kirara! So you're the ones behind the potion shop I've heard so much about. When it comes to fulfilling requests, I heard the customer's wish is practically your command. <laughs> you heard huh? right. Goro, where did you come from? Inazuma. <laughs> oh, and Kirara's here too. What are you guys Hi. doing in Mondstadt? Of course, the dog and cat are together. <laughs> oh my gosh. Couple of furries. <laughs> Didn't expect to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Comania Express operates all across Tavat, so I'm always on the road. Oh my gosh, cute. What? What? I'm actually huh. pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. General Goro, on the other hand, seems to still be getting the lay of the land. Mm -hmm. He got lost not too far from here. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> well, I would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an operation in a foreign territory. But Watatsumi Island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to Mondstadt. Hmm. I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. What? Huh. I've basically okay. had to perform initial reconnaissance in the middle of a formal operation. <laughs> Not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> Affirmative, General. <laughs> Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from mission outset. Over and out. <laughs> Uh, you can drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. We hired you as a consultant. It wouldn't be fair to treat you like one of my soldiers. Hey now, it's not like this is some one-sided partnership. We agreed, right? In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Otatsumi Island. Your good word will be integral in helping Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. Solid. Our future business is counting on you. Back to Paimon's question, though. You still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something about a mission? Ah, uh, yes. It's a funny story, actually. Do tell. Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Basically, this means improving the operations of our cargo ships. So, we decided to send teams across to VAT to learn about the most advanced techniques different nations have to offer. Okay. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liyue when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. So, we decided to postpone our return journey for a bit and come check it out. Oh, okay. Turns out it was the right choice. Hmm. Well, Paimon's gotta say, you've practically hit the jackpot by coming here. We've got stuff you can't find anywhere else. We'll make you something super special. We'll make sure you leave with something fun and useful. Oh, more customers from abroad. <laughs> My cuties sure are popular. You really do have friends all over to that. I apologize that I do that every time. Every time she says cuties. Hmm, looking at your two friends here, I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. Razor? You know what? I should introduce you sometime. For some reason, I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. <laughs> we would have a wolf, a dog, and a cat. <laughs> That's amazing. What other creatures do we know <laughs> that are in human form? <laughs> I guess Nouvellet. He's a dragon. He wouldn't really fit, though. He wouldn't really work. In fact, <laughs> once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, I guess Diona, why don't you both join cat. me and my cuties for afternoon tea? Stop. I'll even bring my student along. Stop. You have a student? Afternoon tea? Sounds great. I could really use some refreshments. Long days of deliveries always leave me parched. Ugh. Thanks for the invitation. <sighs> Something tells me you're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Wait, why does this feel so familiar? <laughs> Does she remind you of Yaimiko? <laughs> hey, Yaimiko, I forgot. She's a fox. Throw her in here. Actually, don't. Goro 
hates her. <laughs> nah, he's just intimidated. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Traveler, care to make some introductions? Yeah. This is the guardian mage of tomes and spells. She also makes a mean cup of tea. <laughs> G- sure. Guardian mage? Wow, what an impressive title. Is it a position similar to that of a Gucci? <laughs> This poor guy. Poor guy. Wait, could it be that I'm in the presence of someone as high-ranking as Her Excellency, <sighs> like Lady Sangonomiya herself? Oh, and I forgot. I guess she's a fish. Well, she doesn't really look like a fish. She has no attributes of a fish. So maybe not. Honestly, Traveler, you're going to give the guy a heart attack. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just a, a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. She works as the librarian here in Mondstadt, and she's also the person in charge of our shop. Lisa, this is Goro. He's a super powerful general from Watatsumi Island. And this is Kirara. She's a super punctual delivery woman with Komania Express. <laughs> Kirara. Hmm, the name sounds familiar. Ah, oh, the collection of books from Inazuma that I have in the library. Ooh. You were the one who delivered them, yes? What a helpful little gem you are. <laughs> I'm glad our paths have crossed again, Miss Lisa. Be called a gem. I hope you'll consider me for future delivery jobs as well. Instead of a cutie, you eat the. Nope. Never mind. No, you don't. <laughs> as for my cutie's <laughs> other acquaintance, I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Goro. I seem to recall more than a few references to your empathetic nature and skillful approach to leading your troops. I'm sorry. I just hate how many times. I'm going to make a count of how many times she has said the word cutie or cuties. Oh, it's you, cutie. I'm sure my cuties. All right, cutie. Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties have a question for me, cutie. Taking a break, cuties? I'm very interested to see how much my cuties' confidence is a good look on you, cutie. You sure seem eager, cutie. If my cuties, my poor little cuties, my cuties sure are popular. Why don't you both join me and my cuties? As for my cuties... Let me guess, <laughs> your troops are also the focus of your potion inquiry here today? Exactly! Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. The workload has increased so much, both the soldiers who work on our shipping convoys and the sailors who work on the merchant vessels are struggling to keep up. What would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intense workload. Like, one that could enhance their energy and physical strength. I got you. Okay, I could definitely use a potion like that as well. I got you right here. When I'm out at a long delivery, you wouldn't believe how tired my legs would get from trekking across all that rugged terrain. Not to mention the damage it does to my paws. Uh, those are your hands? <laughs> okay. <laughs> my cutie should be more than familiar with that kind of potion by now. I'm sure they'll have it done in no time. Should be doable. We've got this. Yep, leave it to us. I got you. Well, while you two hop to it, I'm going to find an <laughs> idle knight to deliver a letter to my little wolf cub and ask him to treat us to the pleasure of his company. Do we have a bunny? No. No one's a bunny. Sorry, when she said hop to, I thought of a bunny. And I'm like, nope. No character is like a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Once my cuties are done brewing a potion that satisfies your needs, we'll all celebrate over afternoon tea. Stop, Lisa. Stop, please. Just don't put the word cutie in one of your sentences. Jeez. Goodness. <laughs> Afternoon tea on the banks of Cider Lake. <laughs> oh, I wonder I'm what that'll be die. like. Oh, I can't wait to find out. <laughs> I'm just glad I finally found a way to help my troops. <laughs> I'm glad. I've told you this before, that if you want to pass through the forest undetected, you're going to want to wet your tails. Wet fur doesn't get snagged on branches and twigs as easily as dry fur. Mm. You'll be able to slip on by, and your enemies will be none the wiser. Huh. Good to know. <laughs> Nuh-uh. That's not going to happen. I can't stand my tails wet. I'd be better off uh, tying them in a knot or something. 
Uh, or better yet, that. improving my fighting skills so that I don't have to sneak by them in the first place. Fair. Oh, you're here. How's the potion coming? Goro, Kirara, your potion is now ready. Why don't you give it a try? Wonderful. You two sure work fast. Mm-hmm. I had it ready for you. <laughs> Is he just rubbing it on hmm. himself? Don't you drink potions? I am Confucian. Wow! My right shoulder was acting up from using my bow so much, but a few drops of your potion and the pain is completely gone. Okay. I guess it works that way too. Yeah, your skin is an organ. I'm but surprised how fast it was. came from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. I thought you dealt in potions, not magic elixirs. Is there a difference? <laughs> With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Holy. Looks like we've got wow. another hit on our hands. Guess we can add the people of Watatsumi Island and the workers at Komania Express to our list of happy customers. Another perfect result. Well done, me. Well, <laughs> now that our work is out of what? the way, there's nothing standing between us and that afternoon tea we were promised. What was with that weird camera shot? That what? Yeah, she's got big hips. What? <laughs> oh, perfect! Lisa's here! Oh, please don't say cutie, I swear. I'm sorry to report, my little wolf cub appears to be busy. Aww. I sent someone Bummer. to fetch him in Wolvendom, but he wasn't there. No razor? It's such a shame he's going to miss the opportunity to meet some fellow furry-aired companions. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet in the future. In fact, the next time I see him, I'll be sure to tell him about the two of you. It'll give him something to look forward to. <laughs> Cute. Dang, Lisa. I'm proud of you. Lisa sets out a table full of exquisite snacks and delicate tea with good company by your side. While Kirara appears to enjoy her meal immensely, Goro seems a bit nervous. Wow, His mannerisms... You okay. placed quite a sizable <laughs> order. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage, my Inazuman friends. What I wanted to say was that, Lisa, I was proud of you for not saying cutie in the last interaction. <laughs> if feedback on the potion is favorable, I hope you'll consider re-upping your supply when the time comes. If making the journey proves too troublesome, we can always ship them to you. Of course! I have a feeling <laughs> this super powerful alchemical craft of yours could be a game changer for the entire delivery industry! Indeed. Absolutely! I'll be sure to collect detailed feedback from my troops. Anyway, we should head out. Until next time, Traveler in Paimon. Oh, and it was a pleasure meeting you, Miss Guardian Mage. <laughs> yes. Bye, Goro. Bye, Kirara. Bye, Goro. Bye, Kirara. Lovely seeing you two together. Hmm. The next time I'm in Mondstadt, I should make it an official visit. A formal meeting between Her Excellency and the Honorable Guardian Mage is sure to be a momentous occasion. <laughs> oh, sure. seems like that made-up title really had an impression on him. It's uh, given him all sorts of funny ideas. I love that. That's so amazing. <laughs> uh, I love messing with people. <laughs> oh, it's too much fun. Yo, what up? <laughs> the course of action has its oh. You continue to run the potion shop thanks all of your hard work. Did it wow. or, yeah. I have to hand it to you, cuties. I never imagined that you'd be able to bring in so much mora in such a short amount of time. Thanks. You're practically geniuses when it comes to business. I guess. It's all thanks to your help. We just got the hang of it along the way. Huh. <laughs> Always so humble. Yeah, sometimes. Although, with results this impressive, I would say you could stand to take a bit more credit. If I had your help all the time, I bet I could take double the amount of vacation without a care in the world. <laughs> with all of your hard work up to this point, we've already collected enough sales data for our research. Thank you so much for all your help. Bless, am I done? Of course, if you're interested in continuing no, to run the I am shop, not. you'd make me a very happy Lisa. Uh, it would bring me no joy to do that. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. I'm so mean. <laughs> In either case, <gasps> I should Jean! already have more than enough to report back to Jean with. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Hello! Now this is a person I don't mind talking to. <laughs> Jean! Long time no see, Jean. How are you doing? Oh, you're here. I wrapped up some business with my cuties and was just about to go report back to you at headquarters. <sighs> She brought out my angry demon side. <laughs> no need. I already talked to some other knights, so I think I have a fairly good understanding of the situation. <sighs> Looks like you've troubled the Traveler to help you once again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How could I not? When it comes to work as important as this, a smart and capable partner is simply a must-have. Especially if we want good results. Fair. Fair. Look at the success of the shop. I could have never produced that kind of result on my own. No? Well, I do have to admit, your success is remarkable. <laughs> Thank you. I've been meaning to come see you for some time now, but work kept getting in the way and Figured. I simply couldn't find the time. Regardless, I just knew I had to come thank you in person. We should thank you for your support as well. It was a group effort. <laughs> yeah. It's truly reassuring to have such outstanding members among our ranks. Heck yeah, man. I'm the best honorary knight around. <laughs> <sighs> Once this is all over, I'm the only one. I do believe I'm due for a vacation. <laughs> Girl, what have you been doing? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm I've kidding. I'm kidding. I've lost quite a few strands of hair to all the stress. What? You're supposed to lose hair on, a, on the daily. What? What are you talking about? A few strands is nothing. Of course. <laughs> Thank you for all your hard work. What's wrong with you, Lisa? <laughs> Seeing you cooped up in that library all the time, I was worried you might be bored. So I thought I'd give you an opportunity to truly make use of your talents. <laughs> Perhaps I put too much on your plate at once. Nah. It wasn't that bad. After all, it's not like I was in it alone. All the help from the knights and the traveler really helped to lessen the load. Plus, it was fun to get back into research. It's nice to relive those days every once in a while. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you again for all your help, Traveler. Yeah. Please take this as your compensation. It was my pleasure. What am I getting? Free, free ten pull? <laughs> ah, speaking of compensation, I've also prepared a little memento for you. Oh. Here, I hope you like it. Uh-oh, I'm nervous. Oh. Oh, a potion. Oh, what a cute picture. Oh. What potion was that? Felix, what? There you are. Oh, Felix Felicium. Hmm. Harry Potter reference? <laughs> nice. For good luck. Cute. It's got a purple rose, too. Her signature. Let's take a moment to rest and plan our next move. Ah. <gasps> Jean! Public reception towards alchemical potions has been much more favorable than expected. If things continue like this, the potions industry could end up becoming a new revenue stream for the entire region of Mondstadt. Ooh! We've got more than That's enough nice. time to make big plans for the future. Right now, we should focus on the hard-earned success we've been able to achieve so far. How about we find a time to celebrate together? <laughs> Ooh! A celebration? As long as there's yummy food, Paimon's in! Of course. Once I've made the preparations, you'll be the first to know. I'll even do you the honor of extending your invitation in person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that does sound nice. You certainly deserve to relax after all your hard work. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. <laughs> And I'm ready to let business plummet. <laughs> oh, there is more. Sucrose, you're here! Oh, oh is dang it time it. for the expert exam already? Oh, fudge. Our alchemy skills are improving so fast, Paimon can barely keep up! I haven't really been brewing any recently because I'm just skipping it now. <laughs> Your progress has been very impressive. In fact, according to the way Mr. Albedo designed the exams, Passing the expert level would mean you're now qualified to mentor other people. Oh, it's definitely something I don't feel like doing. We could start to teach other people? Huh, even if I did do it, I wonder who. 
Not only that, but who would even be interested? Hmm. Then Paimon's totally going to start a class. Um, let's see. How much should Paimon charge per student? <laughs> well, all Paimon knows right now is that for homework, her students are going to have to use alchemy to make all sorts of tasty treats. <laughs> <laughs> Paimon will be sure to give them lots of feedback. On their alchemy skills, of course. Paimon, let's focus on the exam for now. <laughs> I'm sure this one will go just as well as the others. I don't know if I've made an expert potion. I'm ready to begin whenever you are. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you. Expert grade of charisma. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised with how many I was able to fit. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> okay. I don't think I made it. Let's just see. Oh, it does say expert. Plus eight. 290? <gasps> did I do it? Wow, I actually did it. Besides the perception. Oh, I totally forgot about the perception and steadying. <laughs> um, let me try it one more time. I'm picky. I should have just submitted that first one. <laughs> Now I'm butchering it. Did I do it? Oh, sheesh. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I didn't get all of them, but... Ugh. Alright, let me give your potion a try. Yep, the effect looks good. The quality of your potion is quite high as well. Your talent in this discipline is truly remarkable. Sure, it took three tries. Boy, that was awful. <laughs> so, we passed? The Can first one was the best one. Now? And then I just tanked the other two. Well, the second one was awful. And then the last one, it got better. What an amazing achievement, cuties. <sighs> Congratulations. I guess, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I guess we've learned a thing or two about potion making. But we're still by no means experts when it comes to everything else. <laughs> now is not the time to be humble. <laughs> True. No, it's a joke. Like, I like joking like that. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time. That's an impressive achievement, no matter how you look at it. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. I was also really surprised at how quickly you picked it up. I thought it would have taken way more time. Anyway... Thank you so much for your help. Yeah. Your participation has allowed me to collect some very valuable data. With everything we've learned, we should be able to offer the official exam soon. Nice. This is sure to be a critical moment in the development of the alchemical potions industry. Paimon feels like she just took part in something super important. <laughs> of course. You two are practically pioneers. <laughs> what you've been able to contribute to the field of alchemy mm. is as impressive as a biologist discovering a new species. Dang. Anyway. Thank you. I should probably head back and go over the data I've collected. Sounds good. Traveler, Paimon, thanks again for your participation. If you have some free time, please stop by the lab. We'll see. Bye, Sucrose. Whew. That was difficult. Am I done? Like, done done? <laughs> oh. oh, I already bought everything? Why do I not remember doing that? Wow, that's how tired I am. <laughs> nice. Well... That is everything. Heck yeah. Oh, that makes me so happy. I got it all done. Yay. Bless up. Let's take a look at my potions. Look at these beautiful creations. And yes, I got lazy and just put them all in the same bottle and then just put a bow on top. <laughs> but they actually look pretty nice. I like them. All right. Heck yeah. That was a pretty fun um, event, the potion making event. The only downside was that it was super repetitive. It did go in great detail and depth, which is pretty cool, especially if you're into that kind of thing. But yeah, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. But yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you beautiful bright stars in the next video. <laughs> All right, later.